it's out of my control. I, I don't take those decisions. There's a group that are paid by the NHL or the NHLPA to do that. So um, we'll see what happens. Obviously, there's a lot of emotions in that game. So um, we're hopeful that uh, nothing comes out. Zach's been a uh, big part of our team uh, on the ice. He's a huge part of our group also in the locker room. So um, see what happens. Yeah. I mean, I, it's fair to say uh, in the last year, since probably Christmas last year, how uh, his games evolve, and uh, he he uh, he reminds me a little bit of what Tom Wilson does for. Um, when I played in Washington, when when Willie plays with uh, um, Ovi and, and uh, Backstrom, so um, it's not an easy job. You got to know. Um, you know, it's hard to not cross the line uh, because when you play with those guys, you know, it's, there's obviously a, a offensive part of the game that's demanded out of you. So, um, but I think that's a part of his game. That's a that's part of his DNA, and um, you know. I know he, if you ask him, he doesn't want to lose that either. So uh, I think it's tough to match, you know, both sides and make sure, you know, you're, you're playing with an edge and with emotions, but you can also contribute to uh, your line and obviously playing with Connor. So if he, if he does get suspended, somebody else has got to play in the wing. Well, nobody's going to film me plays like he does. So you just got to bring whatever skill set. Is there with Connor, whether it's yourself or Archibald or whoever? Yeah, I mean, um, that's kind of the what it is in the NHL now. It's kind of, you know, next man up mentality. Uh, every team is dealing with injuries, and um, obviously that's a little bit different, but at the end of the day, depending on what happens, you know, no one's going to go in and replace exactly who he is, but everyone's going to take it a little. You know, more of a job and um, bring a little more. It is hard for somebody to play with Connor. The more you play with him, obviously, it's easier. It is hard to throw it in there for a couple of days. Is it not? Is it easier? Um, Just do your thing and let him do his thing. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's, it's so much of a. Um, I mean, I, I, for any player, I know for myself, if you got a chance to, to play with him, I know I, you know, on the power play and stuff, I appreciate that. Uh, you don't take it for granted. Um, but I think you have to adjust your game a little bit to some of the stuff he does. So, um, you know, he's, um, he plays a different game. And I think Gas is one thing that's uh, key for him. I mean, he can skate with him pretty well. So uh, that obviously helps him out. You're coming off a long trip, and it was uh, fairly spread out, though, with the chance to practice in between. How valuable is that extra time, and has that time been? Yeah, I mean, uh, we were gone for, I don't know, was it 12, 13 days? Um, we only played five games, so um, obviously the travel after the Montreal game uh, was probably not the greatest, but, um, you know, overall it was a pretty good uh, road trip for us. Um, we got two more games here at home before the break, so those are obviously valuable points. Uh, just how close the standings are in the West, so uh, we got to make sure we come in tomorrow and do a job and um, try our best to grab two points. What's the biggest challenge in that coming off of a long trip and maintaining that momentum and that focus through a homestand? Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think. Uh, a lot of the teams uh, struggle with that. Um, I think our, today was a good step in the right direction. We, I thought we, you know, we practiced hard. And, um, our execution was good. So um, I think a key part is probably, uh, you know, the first five, ten minutes tomorrow in the game. Not try to, you know, win the game right away. Just go out and get our legs underneath us and uh, execute and grab some momentum.